Yes, I know, VR Toy 30 is out on FNAF AR. I just finished recording the video. I'm gonna edit and upload this video while I wait for all the footage from my phone to be uploaded. Then I'm gonna edit that video, and hopefully it should be up not too long after this video. So stay tuned for that. On with this video. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's news video. We've had quite a lot of these recently. So if you guys remember not too long ago, we got this book, the official Silver Eyes graphic novel. And so with this new book, it was assumed that the three main books, the Silver Eyes, Twisted Ones, and the Fourth Closet, were going to be made into graphic novels. That's pretty much been confirmed, even though I'm pretty sure it was always going to be the case, because we now have the cover for the Twisted Ones graphic novel. I don't know, I want to say this right off the bat, I don't know if this is the the finished cover, if this is the final version of the cover. It could be, it could just be a work in progress, I don't fully know, but for right now, this is the cover. Now something you may have noticed when comparing the two, um, is that they are completely different art style wise. That's because there was actually a different artist working on this new book. So Pinkie Pills illustrated this first book, the Silver Eyes graphic novel, um, but declined to illustrate this book of the Twisted Ones. It's unclear why she did not want to work on this book, but we do have a new artist working on this book. And whether or not Pinky will come back for the fourth closet graphic novel, or if this new artist, which by the way her name is also Claudia, will continue to illustrate the next graphic novel for the fourth closet, we don't know. I know that a lot of people didn't really like this graphic novel because of the coloring, because of the drawings themselves, so I think, and based off the comments of the Reddit post um, that featured this cover, I think a lot of people are going to like this new graphic novel. There has been a lot of comments saying just how great the drawings look already, and that's just the cover. Maybe not even the finished cover. Okay, so let's take a look at the cover itself now. So. In the middle, we of course have Charlie and John with their new updated designs. And I will say, everyone else is saying this, but I just want to say, I really really like the look of these two people. They look so much better. I'm not trying to discredit Pinky's art, but these look really, really good. I love their new designs, and we of course have the um, four main twisted characters besides Chica, because Chica's always left out. We've got Twisted Freddy and Twisted Fox at the top, Twisted Wolf and then Twisted Bonnie at the bottom. Charlie and John look like they're ready to fight <laughs> the Twisted characters, which is a lot different from Charlie's original pose in the first graphic novel, where she was just kind of scared, you know, trapped in the pizzeria, but now they are in a graveyard. Presumably, this is where the, um, the Twisted characters go underground. To, uh, to hibernate, I guess you could say, because they do go underground. So, I do want to point out, the reason why I say this might not be the final cover is because um, Kane Carter, Pop Goes, pointed out something that has become way too common recently with FNAF, and it is um, fan-made models. So apparently, according to Kane, if you just simply Google Twisted Foxy, which is apparently and allegedly what Claudia did to make these drawings, uh, one of the first pictures that comes up is this image, which of course is not official, it's a fan-made model. Kane even provided a side-by-side -side with these two characters, as well as Twisted Bonnie and the official artwork for Twisted Bonnie made by Pinky when she was still working on the novels. I'm trusting Kane on this, he says that legally this is perfectly fine, um, but he does say that uh, he finds it to be a bit rude in spirit of the community and its creators, in, in his opinion. So I guess legally it's fine, but when you take a look at it, you can tell that at the very least the Twisted Foxy model is quite a bit different from the official uh, Twisted Foxy model, which if I believe is still Pinky's artwork. So whether or not Pinky's fine with this, I don't know. Again, it's legally fine, so I don't really know what to make of this situation, but this is why I said it might not be the final 
cover. Really? That's all we can talk about for this cover of the graphic novel. Um, I believe there was a release date. Oh, shoot. I should have looked that up. Is there a release date? There must be. Yes, okay, so it does have a release date of February 21st, 2022. So quite a long ways away, but hopefully that means that they're gonna take their time on this and it's going to turn out great, which is exactly what I want. We do have other book news, which I think is worth mentioning here while we are on the topic of book news. The collection for the Fazbear Frights books, um, the cover for it has been revealed, and this is it. Honestly, it's a bit underwhelming. I'm gonna be honest, I hope this is only, again, just a whip, because it's just, it's got the same cover as Into the Pit, only it has Fazbear Frights 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it says collection. I would like to have it feature at least the four main characters from the books, uh, Spring Bonnie from Into the Pit, Fetch from Fetch, um, Ella or Ellie from 1.35am, and then Foxy from Step Closer. I would like that, and then have like a compilation of them on this cover. I think that would look great, but this might be the final cover, it might not be, I don't know. Something that's interesting though, is that this first collection does feature four books, and as we know, there are at least seven books. So, considering the fact that the first collection has four, I'm guessing later on we're going to hear about a Fazbear Freight book number eight, and I think the second collection will feature books five through eight. Four books in each collection with two collections. That makes sense. Um, whether or not there's going to be up to 12 more books for a third collection, I don't know. 12 does sound like a lot, but um, yeah, this is what we have to go off of so far. Book 6 does currently have a work in progress cover. Um, if I remember correctly, Book 6 is Blackbird, or something along those lines. I'm pretty sure it's called Blackbird. And Book 7 also has a whip cover. Uh, it's the same thing, just with the number 7. It's interesting though, because the text is purple. The purple guy. <laughs> I don't know. We don't even know the name of the title, uh, or the, the name of the book, and all of the contents that are in it, so assuming it's gonna be about William is a bit of a stretch, but it could be second to last book, I don't know. <laughs> so that is all of the news we have today. Um, there's gonna be two videos going up tonight. This video, as well as apparently a new FNAF AR video, um, I guess we're gonna get some VR version of Toy Freddy, a gamer version of Toy Freddy, which I think is hilarious. Um, yeah, I didn't even know it was coming out until earlier today, so... He looks interesting, I'll say that, but I'll leave my final thoughts on the character for that video. So that is either already up, or is coming out very soon. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.